Hello all, a little ride today, about 52 out, beautiful clear skies, storms bl uh, blowing in tomorrow and the next day, so maybe we'll go out with the umbrella if we have some time. But this video is about something that everybody has to think about, and that is, what are we going to do about all this stuff happening to, to the U.S. and the rest of the world? We have the swamp people taking over the country. We have the Dakota Access Pipeline and the XL Pipeline all approved and will now go through according to Donald Trump. It's up to us. There's a great call going out to protect the waterways and our air and our water. Yet, as we speak, Donald Trump deregulates all businesses. He's put in huge deregulation already, wiping out a hundred years worth of work of, of regulating businesses from polluting the water, making it fair when you put money into a bank that you get it out. All these regulations are going to be gotten rid of. We, the people, can fight back without any violence at all. How do we do it? With money. Where you shop, what you buy, and how you buy it. It's all important to stay away from the big corporations. You just got to do it. You know, if there's any way to get you from spending one penny on an oil company, do it. Try buying cotton, maybe clothing, even though it took fossil fuel to uh, harvest the cotton. It can be harvested without fossil fuel. So you're, you're supporting something that is in the future instead of in the past. The fossil fuel companies cause so much havoc on the planet, massive amounts of pollution in the water. And the pipeline protests are what democracy looks like. So the way I've come to understand it is that democracy in the U.S. is done by three branches of government. Actually, four if you can count the courts. The uh, Trump man, the orange man, he has decided he will do all of it himself, as if he's a dictator. He talks about, I'll do it legally. You know how he does that? Like all the other before him. You just rewrite the laws. Then he can say he did everything legally. Don't even think the next four to eight years are going to be easy, because they're not. They're going to be horrible. People are going to have to stand up with a lot more than signs. you got to do it with your money. And if that isn't going to work, and the protests aren't working, the Constitution tells you what's next. You have to kind of think about this now. You can't just keep putting it off. You have to decide where your interests are and go protect it. That includes protecting regulations for banking and everything else, especially the environment. The uh, bulldozer that's going to come to take away the rest of the uh, natural resources in our natural left places is going to happen pretty quickly. It's up to us to make sure that we, the people, keep the U.S. a democracy. I know the swamp people are saying it's not a democracy and Trump can turn it into a fascism if he wants. Well, all the people in World War II and World War I are against you. I'm against you. I was in the military. I will not stand down to let fascism take over this country. I will never give up.